you guys watch any 80s movies, you will see this for more show sure. more. Look at this. Look at the head even moves. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm bringing tomorrow. For this stuff? All this? It was this too? Yeah. This one too? Uh -huh. How about five bucks for everything? Okay. Dollar sale, everything is one dollar. That's why we just had to get out of there. Let's see that? Empty trailer. Last time on Locker Nuts, we bought this huge 10 by 20 unit for just 300 bucks. It was junky, dusty, and spider webby. And there definitely were spiders in here. We've gone through the majority of the locker. We've found vintage toys and clothes, which we're saving for the vintage market. But the majority of the stuff is just meh. And there's a mountain of it. So now it's time to move that mass, and that means a day at the flea market. But before that, it's time to go to the dump. We actually finished this last night, Jana and I, in the dark, tying down everything, uh, but we didn't get it to the dump in time. Dump closes at four. So here we are Saturday morning. Jana's waiting for a guy to show up at the gate. It's just about 9.30, opening hours. I snuck in behind another tenant. Uh, guys coming to pick this up for free. Look at this. This is beautiful, isn't it? I, mean, I think it's nice. It obviously needs a little bit of work. At some point, I think they replaced the knobs, which is unfortunate. Those aren't original. But this is a nice mid-century piece for sure. It's a veneer, but it has a it has some clean looks to it. I like it, but cabinets aren't super popular. Dre if this was a dresser, we'd be listing it and holding on to it and getting money or bring it to the antique fair. But since it's a cabinet, it's not as desirable. But it is a nice piece nevertheless. Um, free. Just trying to lighten our load. It would be a shame to put that on that load to go to the dump. So you can give it to someone else so they can make some money or bring in their home and enjoy it. But I've got no shortage of inventory. <laughs> We've got all this stuff. Look at that. All this stuff. So as we said before, all this over here goes to is set aside for the antique fair. It's good stuff. The clothes are outstanding. Probably the best clothes that we're going to be bringing out there are what came out of this unit right here. The acid wash is hot. And these 80s colors and the dresses, everything is good stuff. Look at this acid washed jacket with the tassels. That's so cool. That is screaming 80s. If you guys watch any 80s movies, you will see this for more sure. Um, got some vintage electronics here. There's some little black brass figurines in there. Um, a couple old suitcases here. It's good stuff. Definitely good stuff. All this over here is all just regular stuff going the regular market. Probably stocked in on Monday. In the back wall, there's still some boxes. That very last row of boxes we still haven't gotten to. I'd estimate maybe 15 boxes to go. We'll knock that out. That's, that's nothing compared to what we took on. Oh, there's a couple of the last pieces I set aside right here. For the antique fair this one in particular i think is very nice look at this thing so this little piece i set aside for the antique fair i this is one of my favorite pieces to come out look at this thing it's so cool and then we're gonna wind it up i'll be gentle because this thing is definitely old definitely old look at this Look at the head even moves. I love it. I love it. That is a neat piece. I don't see any uh, maker mark or any of the markings. And then here's another 1970s era Mickey Mouse. Really nice piece. Huh. What is this? What's going on with this? I almost feel like maybe there's roller skates or something that's strapped onto. There's a tag, but... <laughs> eh, the markings are long gone. But yeah, this is definitely 1970s just from looking at it. That's a neat piece. Alright, what's up, Locker Nuts? Another day at this unit. 
it's not a bad unit. It just is a lot of time. I kind of regret it because I could use my time elsewhere for more important things like bigger ticket. But I'm glad we got it. I mean, if I could do it over, I probably wouldn't get it. But we have a bunch of jewelry back at the house now that uh, we might have some gold in there. Who knows? I might change that story very quickly. But this huge pile right here, huge pile. That's all got to go on this trailer to go to the flea market tomorrow. I'm going to load fast. I'm not going to film much because I want to hurry, quite frankly. I don't want to be doing this on my Sunday. I just got out of church and the Raider game's on. Mm, I want to go home and watch it. So uh, I'm going to get boogieing. Here I go. All right, guys, I did it. Can't say I was super fast, but it's gone. All that stuff's gone. Well, I should I say it's gone, but there's those two boxes right there, the gateway box and that brown box. Uh, if you don't know what, that, what I meant by gateway, that's a gateway computer box, the one that looks like a, a cow, gateway computers, yeah, if you ever heard of it. It's popular back in the 90s. Uh, check it out. I almost always forget to take a video of this before I put the tarp over it. Yeah, that's what I'm bringing tomorrow. Look at that, crazy, 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 crazy. I started putting the tarp on. So that's what we got. That's a big load. It's not super heavy. Most of the boxes, they're kind of light. So it's not like, a, it's definitely not the heaviest load. <laughs> the tires aren't even bulging out, but it is a big load. Uh, but I like how it's like kind of like a big cube rectangle. It's a uh, packed well. I knew I need to pack it well to get it all, and it's ready to go. And it's going to be secure once I strap it down. So here's to tomorrow. Hopefully a big day. All right, guys, I've been thinking about getting a cover trailer investing and upgrading. Not only because the rains are coming. It's going to be here in a couple days. But also because of the time it takes me to tie all this down. It is nuts. It's... And especially it stinks because at the end of loading all this, I'm tired and then I gotta, and then I gotta tie it down. Good morning, locker nuts. It is, I don't even know what time it is. Sun's coming up, stocked in. This is crazy. We have three booths and I've just unloaded the trailer. I haven't even loaded the truck, the bed or the back seat. Uh, run out of room. We do have a little bit of room here. I'm saving this for the clothes that are about to come out, but uh, it, looks like, it really does look like a bomb went off. Looks like a bomb went off. And uh, actually, the crowd has died down right now. We were mopped this morning in the dark. So things are going good. We already sold a decent amount, probably 75 to 80 bucks. To work towards my $500 goal today. That's what we want to do, minimum. All right, check that out. This is a piece of 80s history right here. That is screaming 80s, screaming. East, West, I think I've seen that brand before actually. But uh, yeah, this is like something you'd see Ruth, what is her name, Ruth Goldberg on the Goldbergs wearing, the mom. How about that mom? Did you see Debbie wearing that? Back in the 80s, no, yeah, Debbie wasn't yeah. that crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a neat one. All right, nine o'clock, here's what we got. Starts here, goes all the way. The records are, are a dollar each. Yeah, unless you want them all. I'm going to do a deal on all of them. Uh, yes, we have all of this. And actually, it looks pretty messy. And this is actually way better than it was just a little while ago. There's our scarecrow. He's on our porch for a while. But no more. He's been replaced by a reindeer. That's our stuff all the way down to the edge of the tarp here. That looks pretty crazy. For this stuff? All this? Was this too? Yeah, this. this one too? Uh -huh. How about five bucks for everything? Okay. 
got the deals today. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. What's up? Yeah, maybe we'll look that up. I didn't see that. Yeah, it's in the bottom of that box. Ooh, that's kind of nice, actually. Hmm. It's cool. I used to have one of those. Storage Auction Pirate, and you see how mobbed he is down there? That's his, oops, that's his booth that has the, where you got the pods. It's really good stuff, high end, clean, and he's mobbed down there. No? Dollar sale, everything's one dollar. Free, free, free. Ooh, a lot of stuff. Free, free, free. No. No. It's free. <laughs> Everything's free. Free sale, everything's free over here. Everything's free. Everything's free. It is. <laughs> and windy. Everything's free! Alright, so today we had some help. Yep, which is and we really did. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, we did, huh? We, we sold a lot of stuff. A lot of good stuff. Not Thank a lot of money, you. but we sold a lot of stuff. Yep, yep. <laughs> Thank you for your help today. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, God. So next time. Hey, you know my birthday is on, on, on the 27th. You guys gonna be out here? It might rain though. Uh, 27th is what? November, that's 27th. Is uh, Thursday? Week. Yep. I mean, yeah, that's Thanksgiving? No, Thanksgiving is on the 28th. Oh, Wednesday? Okay, Wednesday? Uh, Wednesday, you might If be it doesn't there. rain, I'll be here. So. Yep, yep. What's up? Oh, look at this. What's going on? Special guest yeah, star. Take a picture of me and you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, say cheese. Mm. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Are you recording? Thanks for your help again, Anita. Don't record me because, you know, people be thinking that all I got no food. Should I try it?
Horrible. Yeah, it's getting dirt in my eyes. Is all this all free? All free. Uh-oh. Look at that. Oh, that sucks. Man, it's all going to end up oh. Oh. <laughs> It's time to go say dollar and free before this wind makes it. This drop. Alex is Ooh. stepping on babies. Yes. Oh, my God. Good thing they're fake babies. Everything's free. Please don't make a mess. <laughs> I think that's going to happen, huh? Fill up the box. It's around here somewhere. Everything's free. All right, guys. It is so windy. It is, uh, it's really windy. That's the wind. That's the my hand. I don't even know if you can hear me with the wind noise. There's, we're at our favorite truck stop outside the, the dump here. Not Stockton, it's right next to it, it's Manteca. There's the dog food factory over there. You may remember me saying before, it smelled like dog food. No, that's why, because it is actually a dog food factory. Um, don't smell it right now because the wind is so strong. That's why we just had to get out of there. See that? Empty trailer. That's because we went to the dump. $31 is. I wanted to get a shot of the trailer after we put everything back on and threw everything else back in boxes. And um, the trailer was half full. This is amazing. After a full day of selling, dollar sale, free sale, we still had half a trailer. Now we emptied the back seat, we emptied the truck, uh, the truck bed, but it's amazing how much stuff was still left. This just wasn't very good stuff to begin with. Some days I bring out really good stuff. By the end of the free sale, we've got like a few boxes, maybe half a dozen boxes. Throw them in the back of my truck and almost fit it in my, my uh, household garbage can. But this time, half a trailer load. Go to the the dump here, 31 bucks. It's really inexpensive out here. That's why we like to dump out here. But um, it's just a shame that we throw away that much stuff. But this stuff, like I said, was not good to begin with. It was 30 years plus old. Most of it, almost all of it, 80s, 90s stuff. And we're not talking about high quality stuff to begin with. We're talking about stuff that they bought at the flea market or at Mervyn's or other low end stores. You see stuff that had tags. A lot of them had clearance tags on it. This is just low end stuff. And the stuff that was used was very used. Like they were hard on their stuff, especially the kids stuff. Very, very hard, stained up, ripped up, broken toys, lots of, you know, action figures with one leg missing or one arm missing. It is what it is. That's what kids do, but um, it didn't even feel right about donating it. When we get done here and we do a free sale, people don't take it for free. I don't really feel right about burdening the donation centers with so much garbage. So took it to the dump. 31 bucks boom done so we sold about let's see we were left with 330 today we paid 30 dollars for the booth we paid the first helper that lady anita this first time she helped us we gave her 20 bucks to help us for the day and then our other friend helps clean up he uh paid he doesn't ask for anything but i give him 20 bucks he's so nice and then um so what's that 70 bucks and 31 at the dump so 101 dollars we're now left with about 300 so we sold about 400 dollars today not good i want to be walking home with 500 dollars, so <clears throat> about 200 dollars off my goal and that's including the gold there's only about 30 bucks in gold so <laughs> i got the jewelry back there but yeah this this locker did not turn out the way i had hoped but what i'm now going to go back and get all that stuff that's going to the vintage market there's a lot there and uh that's where we're going to see our profit so still we're not even at zero, right? We paid 300 for the locker, but we had sales tax and dump fees, about 108 in dump fees so far. Not these, this here, but at the other dump, 108 in fees plus the taxes, 25 bucks. So, uh, we're about 130 in the hole still, but I think there might be, there may be a thousand dollars in vintage stuff there. So we'll see. Okay, there it is. A lot of this is for, the vintage market hopefully you wouldn't put too much stuff in there we need quality not quantity uh maybe i'll go through it again i don't know but there's a few bins on here that go into the thrift store there's a couple things of trash 
But here's, here's the nice shot right here. Here's my happy place. Empty locker. This one is done. Maybe I can forget about how much I regret buying it. All right, so that was a long day at the flea market, even though I left kind of early. The wind was picking up. It just, the wind makes it hard. It makes it hard for the customers and it makes it hard for us. And out in Stockton, that wind can pick up strong, something strong, so much that you get dust in your eyes. I should have got a shot out in the parking lot. You could just see like dust getting stirred up like a dust cloud. Um, it was pretty strong, but you know what? We got rid of a lot of stuff. We didn't bring in as much money as we, of course, hoped to, but we made it all go away, whether to customers who paid for it and customers who didn't pay for it, uh, hopefully at the free sale, or at the dump. It's all gone. Um, I don't think I brought home much of anything, really. Maybe just that Sony Walkman or uh, TV Man or whatever it's called, and then that purple jacket. Those are like the two items I brought home everything else gone so we have one more episode though all right because let's not forget we have that piggy bank and we have a locked um, briefcase or whatever you call it it's like a bag that brown bag and a couple of other things we brought home to take a closer look at we're going to do that in the next episode and i just want to tell you it doesn't disappoint all right some good stuff coming you know all the vintage stuff we'll just have to show you that when we go to the vintage market we keep getting rained out but when we finally get out there we'll share that with you maybe do a live or something but the next round of videos coming is the pallets that we bought this is good stuff good stuff and lots of video uh lots of video like good video all right you'll have to wait for that though so in the meantime if you would hit me a thumbs up show me you like this sort of thing and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet i really appreciate it all right well the next episode will be out very very soon but until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on Loganuts.